What's going on everybody? Lucas Decker here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to clean the bearing in your yo-yo. And be sure to pay close attention because I've got a life hack to show you guys that is going to make the preparation process so much easier and faster. Let's get started. When you're using your yo-yo, a few indications that your bearing needs to be cleaned include the following. The yo-yo has significantly reduced spin power. The yo-yo sounds really gritty and just terrible. Or your yo-yo is playing responsive when it should be playing unresponsive. Now personally, I would first try to treat these issues by lubricating the bearing. But if that's not cutting it, the bearing should be cleaned. So I'll be cleaning the bearing in my yo-yo factory damage. If you couldn't tell, it needs it. All right, guys, so we're just going to jump right into the cleaning process. We've got our bearing. We're just going to run some water over it real quick. Get some dish soap action in there. Just like that. We're just going to wash the bearing. Get it nice and clean, all right? Psych. Y'all didn't think I was serious, did you? Don't do that to your bearing. All right, so here's a spread of everything you'll need from start to finish. A paper towel. I like to fold it a few times so that no liquid from the bearing leaks through. Some lighter fluid. You also need a glass jar, a pencil, and if it applies, you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers with the circular cutout here. These are for the special hack I'm going to tell you about. A bearing removal tool and some sort of pin or needle. All right, so we can take our yo-yo and just unscrew that bad boy. All right, good to go. We'll take our bearing removal tool and just stick it in the center here and just wiggle the bearing off. Now, if you're in this scenario where the axle is on the same side as the bearing, you can always use the key on the other side of the bearing removal tool, put it in the axle and unscrew it. Now, if you're in this situation where the keyhole on the axle is not facing up and you can't use your multi-tool to unscrew it, you might have to very, 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 very gently uh, squeeze the axle and unscrew it that way. But please avoid doing this at all costs. I don't recommend this. I don't want you to damage the threads on the axle. Do this at your own risk. All right, so we have the bearing here, and the next step we need to do is remove the bearing shields. Now, I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick this up, but basically there is a C-clip on the outer edge of the inside of the bearing. So this right here is what you're looking for. This clip is gonna be lodged in the bearing, and it's gonna hold the shield in place. And right above where I'm pointing the pin, there is a gap in that C-clip. So what you're gonna do is take your needle, find the gap in that C-clip, and you're gonna try and wedge the pin underneath one of the ends of the C-clip, and then push the needle up and towards the outer edge of the bearing. And if you keep at it, the C-clip should pop out. Now this is where my life hack is gonna come in play. Now most people would do what I'm doing right now and just grab the bearing with their fingers and try and poke at it that way. But guys, this is so annoying, and if the needle slips and pokes your finger, that's gonna suck. So we're gonna take our needle nose pliers with the circular cutout here, I'm gonna open it up a little bit and just slide the bearing right in there. Good to go. And now just gently hold the bearing in there. You know, don't squeeze it too tight. And then you can use your needle and you don't have to be afraid of poking yourself or anything like that. And you can just wedge the C-clip right out of there. Flip it over, tap it out, and there we go. So now that we have our shieldless bearing, we can begin the cleaning process. We're gonna take our jar and our lighter fluid. Kids, have adult supervision. I don't wanna be responsible if you burn your house down. Bearing. In the jar, fill the jar with lighter fluid till the bearing is submerged. Swish it around a little bit. So now I like to set a timer for about 10 to 12 minutes and let the lighter fluid do its work. All right, and we're back. Time to take it out. Let's grab our paper towels, open it up. I'm going to take our pencil here, and I'm going to take the tip of the pencil, and I'm going to stick it in there and just pull the bearing out. Just like that. Set it on our paper towels here. I like to give it a few taps on the paper towels just to get some of the, uh, the big drops of lighter fluid out. So all that's left to do now is really just let this dry. And what I like to do is I like to take another paper towel and just place it over like that. That way no dust or anything gets into the bearing. All right, so I let the bearing dry for about half an hour. That should be enough. If you wanna let it dry a little longer, that's totally cool too. We're gonna to use our pencil one more time. I'm gonna take the bearing and put it on the tip like that. And all I'm gonna do is just spin it, just see how it sounds. If it spins nice and smooth, then I'd say your bearing is successfully cleaned. Now, if it doesn't spin smooth, then maybe just run through the process one more time. And if that doesn't work, then you might need to just replace the bearing. Now, if you want to, you can put these shields and the C-clip back on the bearing. Now, honestly, I never do this because I think it's pointless and it's gonna be super tedious. So I'll just leave them off. But other than that, we're good to go. We can just grab our yo-yo over here, pop that bad boy in, 
And before I screw this back together, I'm just gonna throw some lubricant in the bearing. I'll probably have a how-to video on how to lubricate your bearing in the future. And now that we're set here, let's test it out. All right, guys, you get the damage all strung up. Let's test it out. Woo, nice and smooth. Great spin, totally unresponsive. Definitely a success. And that's gonna put a wrap on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you enjoyed it. Guys, if you're enjoying the videos of the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. It is truly appreciated. And of course, any further suggestions, questions, or feedback are more than welcome in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll be talking to you very soon.